what's up? So today I did something I wasn't sure I was ever gonna do, but I always kind of really wanted to do. Um, yeah, so today we're doing a room tour. I filmed it for you guys, and then this morning I like scrubbed and I swept and I dusted and I cleaned the whole gosh darn thing so that you know it'll be half decent for you guys. But before we get started, I just want to let you know that my room is not like you know, room goals, it's not like a lot of other YouTubers room tours where everything's just all neat and tidy and like perfect and there's no like junk hanging around. Um, my room is not like that. It's like this is my real room tour. I didn't change anything. I cleaned it. That was the only thing. So I know I got a lot of new subscribers from the channel review that Gabrielle Marie did for me and I just want to say hello and welcome to my channel to all those people that recently came to my channel and subscribed. It really means a lot to me and I hope you guys stick around and I hope this room tour kind of like lets you get to know me a little bit better. So before this intro, I've already been recording for two minutes. So before the intro like gets any longer, let's just go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so this is the view when you're standing right outside my room and you're looking in the doorway. So that's just kind of a little bit of an overview. And once you get inside, this is the back of the door. Super exciting, I know. Um, and then on the floor next to my door, I have some shoe care stuff as well as my pink yoga mat I got at Giant Tiger that I use sometimes for Pilates when I do Blagilates. Um, and then I have this weird like thing hanging on the wall that I just have some pens and stuff in. And then there's my light switch. And then right on the wall next to that, I just have some photo frames of some pictures of some family and stuff like that. And then I have these plates that I made from actually a Lord DIY video. And there's just a bunch of random stuff on them. And then I have my 2014 memory jar, which was a fail. And then I have my makeup and some other girly things along my little I don't know if you'd call this a dresser or a vanity, I don't know. But then on the other end, I have my brushes and hot tools. And then I have some jewelry and my makeup brushes and all that kind of fun stuff. And then since I am totally obsessed, and you guys should definitely know this by now, I have a ton of Polaroids just all around my mirror. And these are just some of my friends and family and all that kinds of stuff. And of course, naturally, I just keep a bunch of my clothes in the drawers underneath. <laughs> Oh, and I also have this rug on the floor that I do have a DIY for, so I'll link that down below. And then moving right along, so my TV is in the corner of my room right next to my dresser, and right underneath I have a bookshelf, and along the wall on top of the TV I have this little photo frame that I actually did a DIY for a long time ago. Um, but yeah, I just have my TV sitting on this little tiny bookshelf that I need a bigger one because it's so small I have to put books underneath of it. Comment down below if you've read any of these books, and then right next to the bookshelf I just have this little thing and it holds my little TV. Uh, cable thing and underneath there's just some camera bags with some cameras inside I have my Kodak camera there my Ryko bag and then I have my Canon bag and then of course I have my closet doors and we're not gonna go into what's in the closet because the closet's a bit of a disaster but I just have some purses hanging there and I also have my bathrobe hanging there and my bathrobe's actually hiding a dollar store bag full of random things so yeah then we go into what I'm gonna call my creative corner because this has just like a bunch of stuff that I use and it's basically just a bunch of stuff so on the top shelf I just have some extra bags you know my luggage bag kind of thing and then on the second shelf I just have some bins of material and then down here I just have some old school books and another bin of material and of course my Minnie Mouse ears from Disney and then on the next shelf I have some camera stuff as well as the turtle that Tyler made me so cute um, and I also have a stack of movies and a few CDs that are still there that I haven't listened to in a while but they're still there um, yeah and then on the bottom I just have my recording stuff so I have my MIDI keyboard and I have some speakers and I have my M box and then I also have a preamp and a mic in there um, so that's the stuff that I use when I make my cover videos on my other channel um, and then over on the other side I have my stabilizer my tripod as well as a mic stand and my pink ukulele and I also have like this storage bag filled with old costume stuff cuz I collect a lot of costume stuff for Halloween and whatnot so yeah that's where all that stuff goes <laughs> And then on the side of this, I also have a brown desk, and this is just kind of an overview, and yes, it's a bit of a hot mess. So on the top, I just have some camera stuff, an old art project, fishbowl thing, um, some souvenirs, as well as some notebooks slash journals slash Alice in Wonderland puzzle book, I don't even know. Um, yeah, but then I have my lamp, and then I have some pictures, and this old merry-go-round music box thing that the water turned red. I don't, I have no idea why, but it's turned red. And then I have these bottles that Tyler said he was gonna take, but he still hasn't taken yet. 
tisk tisk. Um, and then on the shelf, I just have my drawing stuff. And then this is the hot mess. So I have my sewing machine. I have some boxes in there. I have a bunch of craft stuff. It's just it just gets kind of crazy in there. So we're just gonna leave that there. Um, and then moving right along to right beside this, I, I I keep some makeup stuff here. So I have some lipsticks on the top. And then I got these things from I think. Um, Walmart or Target I can't even remember but I basically just keep some lip stuff makeup stuff all kinds of different makeup stuff in these drawers that one has eyeliners and mascaras some more eyeshadows and then I have some more face products in the bottom drawer there and these two bins are actually sitting on top of an even bigger bin type drawer thing. I have no idea what you even call these. But basically I just keep a bunch of craft stuff. There's nail polish in there. There's Ipsy bags, eyelashes. Um, and then we have a paint drawer. And then the bottom drawer has a bunch of camera stuff in it. And then it comes to my window seat and it was so hard to film with you guys because the sun was coming in and the exposure was just, it was just messing everything up. Um, but I just have my big Totoro here and does anybody know what this is from? Comment down below. And then I have this little bowl that I just store some random little things in. And then I am just keeping two of my pillows that I made in my last video on the other side of this window seat. And then now we have finally made it to my nightstand and on the floor I just have this little speaker because it's for an iPhone 4 but I have an iPhone 6 now so I don't really know what to do with it. Um, but in the cupboard here I just keep some older books and then in the top drawer I have a bunch of stuff like just a bunch of stuff. Um, and then I have my turtle candle. And I also have a jar, just a random jar that I water marbled, blah, blah, marbled. Um, and then I have a photo of my friends and me last summer going tubing. And of course, some Polaroid stuff because we all know I'm obsessed. I think it's a problem. Um, and then I have my friend's headphones and I have two skirts hanging on the wall. Just add color to the background of my videos if you guys have ever noticed that. And then of course we come to my bed, which you guys have seen a million times because it's in the intro of every video. And then on top of my bed, I have my Polaroids and I know one of them fell off. It just fell off one day. Um, so my bedding is from Sears and then I have a bunch of pillows and then I also have another nightstand on the other side and my external hard drive just kind of chills on the floor there because I always edit on my bed and yeah, it just kind of stays there. And on the underneath of this little stand, I have some random stuff and then in the drawer, I have my journals and stuff like that and I got this cute blue paint plate from the dollar store and then I have my blue book that I DIY'd. I have a little turtle. I have an hourglass I got at Value Village and I have a Polaroid of my friends and then there's that little lamp that I DIY'd as well as a chapstick because I always got to have one somewhere and then there's a mirror. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. I hope it wasn't too long. Um, I hope you like my room. I hope it helped you get to know me a little bit better. And if you liked it, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up down there. And don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. Because summertime, I have a lot of summertime videos planned for you guys. And I try to post like more than once a week. Because I really like posting often for you guys. If you guys want to subscribe, make sure to hit that little button down there. And if you guys are subscribed, I will see you guys very soon with a brand new video. And don't forget to check out my giveaway. I do have a giveaway going on right now. Um, it's going to be ending probably, I think it's like in two weeks or so it's going to be ending. So you might want to check that out. So yeah, I'll leave it in the links down below. And without further ado, that is the end of the video, guys. And I will see you guys very soon with a brand new one. Bye!